Rogue One cleared Langley Airport via L5. In the world of military aviation, a new player has entered the arena, set to redefine the future of aerial warfare. Welcome back to our channel. And today, we're diving deep into the world of the NGAD fighter, the next generation air dominance aircraft. A machine that could be a game changer and a sign of what's to come in the rapidly evolving theater of global warfare. Born from the US Air Force's ambitious NGAD program, this sixth generation fighter jet is an exemplar of modern engineering, stealth technology, and combat effectiveness. As we unveil the story behind this state-of-the-art aircraft, we'll take you through its origins, its unique features, and its potential to reshape the balance of power. We'll also delve into Lieutenant Colonel Frank Kendall's insightful discourse at the 2023 Air and Space Forces Association's Warfare Symposium, where he outlined the Air Force's future plans. Among these ambitious plans is a blueprint for a diverse and powerful fleet, 200 units of the NGAD fighter, supplemented by the already impressive 300 units of the F-35 Lightning II. But there's more. The Air Force isn't stopping at manned fighters. They're also developing collaborative combat aircraft, autonomous drones that will fight alongside and augment the capabilities of the NGAD fighter. Of course, a project of this magnitude comes with substantial financial implications. We'll provide an overview of the fiscal planning for the program, including the budget allocation and projected costs for the NGAD fighter and the drones. Its roots can be traced back to the Air Superiority 2030 flight plan, a study undertaken by the Air Force back in 2016. It's this study that paved the way for what we now know as the NGAD program. This year, at the Air and Space Forces Association's Warfare Symposium, Lieutenant Colonel Frank Kendall gave us further insight into the program. As he discussed the Air Force's future plans, he highlighted that the NGAD fighter is not just a concept, but a very real part of America's defense strategy. What's more intriguing is that this isn't just about one new aircraft type. It's about a family of systems, a networked, multi-domain family of systems. It's not just about building a replacement for just one kind of aircraft, but about creating a connected and integrated system. In an era of rapidly evolving threats and technology, the US Air Force has to stay ahead of the game, the current blueprint for America's future air dominance involves a mix of 200 units of the revolutionary NGAD fighter, supplemented by the existing fleet of 300 units of the F-35 Lightning II. But the story doesn't end there. The future vision of air combat involves a significant role for autonomous systems as well. These are the Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCAs, autonomous drones that will work alongside the NGAD fighters and F-35S. They're envisioned to extend the reach, flexibility, and capability of the manned aircraft, allowing them to operate in more contested environments without putting pilots at risk. This shift towards a manned-unmanned teaming is one of the innovative strategies of the NGAD program, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in air combat. It will be fascinating to watch how this integration unfolds in the coming years. Like any significant military endeavor, the NGAD program comes with its own hefty price tag. However, the financial implications are about more than just dollars and cents. They're about ensuring the security of the nation and maintaining a competitive edge in the evolving global arena. As of now, precise numbers are classified, but we know that the US Department of Defense has committed billions of dollars to the program, demonstrating a significant commitment to its success. This allocation includes the development and acquisition of the NGAD fighters, the F-35 Lightning II fleet, and the collaborative combat aircraft or drones. Projecting the exact costs of cutting-edge technology like the NGAD and its accompanying drones is challenging due to the evolving nature of their design and capabilities. Nonetheless, it's clear that these high-tech machines will come at a high cost. The goal, of course, is to ensure that their operational value justifies the investment. However, it's also important to note that fiscal responsibility is a key element of the NGAD program. It aims to create a cost-effective, flexible, and adaptable system that provides superior capabilities without draining the defense budget. About more than just dollars and cents, they're about ensuring the security of the nation and maintaining a competitive edge in the evolving global arena. 
the US Department of Defense is sparing no expense in this mission-critical program. For fiscal year 2024 alone, the Air Force has a budget of $2.4 billion, and an impressive $392 million of this is allocated for the development of collaborative combat aircraft, the autonomous drones designed to fly alongside the NGAD fighter. These numbers underscore the scale of investment required for this initiative. Moreover, they are likely to increase over the coming years as the NGAD program progresses and expands. Each NGAD fighter is projected to cost hundreds of millions of dollars, making the overall NGAD program potentially exceed a staggering $100 billion. For context, the cost of America's current most lethal fighter, the F-22 Raptor, is a whopping $350 million each, the most of any fighter in history. While these numbers are vast, the ultimate goal of the NGAD program is to ensure that the operational value and strategic advantages derived from these investments justify the costs involved. However, it's also important to note that fiscal responsibility is a key element of the NGAD program. Despite the significant expenditure involved, the initiative aims to create a cost-effective, flexible and adaptable system that provides superior capabilities without draining the defense budget. Its design is a marvel of innovation, marked by a departure from traditional aircraft structures. You won't find vertical tails on the NGAD as they've been removed to enhance stealth capabilities, reduce drag, and increase speed. While it may seem that maneuverability could suffer, advances in thrust vectoring engines and control surfaces more than compensate for this change. Thermal management is another arena where this futuristic platform pushes boundaries. As it slices through the air, the aircraft's leading edges and nose heat up. To cloak this heat signature and guard against detection by modern IR search and track IRS systems, the NGAD uses advanced radar-absorbing materials, RAM, which can absorb or scatter radar waves while reducing the infrared IR, visibility. The cockpit design of the NGAD is a testament to the unrelenting pursuit of stealth. Integrated into the fuselage with only two side windows, this design minimizes potential sources of detection. The pilot flies the aircraft using an advanced helmet system that offers a 360-degree field of view to a distributed aperture system, DAS, which feeds visual data from cameras placed around the aircraft. The NGAD doesn't just sneak through the skies, it packs a serious punch. The aircraft's internal weapons bays can carry everything from air-to-air -air missiles for defense to laser-guided bombs, cruise missiles, and potentially even nuclear weapons for offensive missions, all without sacrificing its stealth capabilities. Additionally, this next-gen platform is poised to be equipped with laser weapons. These high-precision, high-energy tools have the potential to redefine air combat, emphasizing the NGAD's commitment to advanced armaments. Beyond its arsenal and stealth features, the NGAD addresses one key shortcoming of its predecessor, the F-22 Raptor range. Designed for combat scenarios spanning vast distances, the NGAD doesn't rely on external fuel tanks or in-flight refueling that could risk detection. It's optimized for endurance, and its high top speed extends the range of its missiles and enables the deployment of hypersonic weapons. The NGAD's double delta wing design allows for high top speeds while maintaining excellent handling at both high and low speeds. Given the high stakes nature of modern geopolitics, the NGAD platform's introduction is timely. However, its projected cost per unit, potentially making it the most expensive weapon system in history, is a sobering reality we must face. The introduction of the NGAD platform marks the beginning of a new chapter in air combat history. It is poised to replace not just the F-22 Raptor for the Air Force, but potentially also the F-A-18 Super Hornet for the Navy. The decision to replace these stalwarts, particularly the F-22 Raptor, has spurred debate within the defense community. The F-22 Raptor has been a staple of the US Air Force's fleet for years. Its combination of advanced stealth, supercruise, weapon load, and electronic warfare capabilities made it an unparalleled air superiority fighter. So, the move to replace it with the NGAD platform might seem premature to some observers. Justification for this move lies in understanding the changing dynamics of the battlefield and the evolving roles of fighter aircraft. The F-22 Raptor, as phenomenal as it is, was designed to excel in an era of warfare that is quickly becoming obsolete. Modern warfare demands not just air superiority, but also long-range capability, superior stealth, networked communication, 
and data sharing ability to operate effectively in a heavily contested environment. The NGAD platform, with its impressive range, advanced stealth capabilities, and the potential for advanced networked warfare capabilities, offers all of this. It is a testament to the US Air Force's proactive approach in adapting to the changing face of warfare. Moreover, the NGAD program is expected to bring significant improvements in terms of cost-effectiveness and operational availability compared to the F-22 Raptor. Despite the high initial procurement costs, the NGAD platform is designed for easier upgrades, which means it could become more cost-effective over its operational life. The F-22 Raptor has long been the jewel in the crown of the US Air Force. It revolutionized air combat with its advanced capabilities and remains an exceptional aircraft today. However, in the face of emerging technology and potential threats, the role of the F-22 is inevitably changing. The transition to the NGAD platform doesn't signal the end for the F-22 Raptor. Instead, it may redefine its purpose within the fleet. As we move into a new era of warfare dominated by advanced stealth, networked systems, long-range capabilities, and autonomous drones, the F-22 Raptor's role could evolve into a complementary one. The Raptor might find its niche in tasks that require its unique strengths, such as air superiority missions within contested airspace, where its speed, maneuverability and stealth capabilities can still make a significant difference. Furthermore, with continual upgrades and modernizations, the F-22 can stay relevant in the near term. Its avionics and sensor systems could be upgraded to enhance interoperability with the NGAD platform and the collaborative combat aircraft. This would allow the Raptors to work in tandem with the new generation of fighters, potentially extending their operational utility. Ultimately, the transition to the NGAD platform is more of an evolution than a replacement. It reflects the changing nature of threats and the continuous advancement in technology. It's a shift towards a more integrated, networked and flexible force that can respond effectively to the sophisticated challenges of modern and future warfare. Yet the road ahead is filled with challenges. From high development costs to overcoming technical obstacles, the journey to fully operational NGAD fighters is a daunting task. Despite these hurdles, the promise of this sixth-generation aircraft propels us into a new era of aerial warfare. If this exploration into the NGAD fighter intrigued you, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more in-depth coverage of defense technology advancements. If you're intrigued by the potential for laser weapons on these advanced aircrafts, we have another in-depth video exploring this futuristic technology you can see on your screen now. But before you go watch, must-see video, please give thumbs up to support us. Your support means a lot, thank you.